to talk Montessori three part cards and how I implement them in our Montessori three period lessons. So let's talk three part Montessori cards. Essentially they're like flashcards, um, but they're broken up in three different parts, hence the name uh, three part cards. Uh, and now the first part would be the picture of what you're teaching uh, or what your unit is. This is our farm animals unit. Uh, the first card again is the picture of the animal with the name of the animal. Now my children really enjoy when I make binder books for them so that's the reason I have this in a binder ring but this is just optional uh, and so that is part one. Part two would be the picture without the name. Here it's missing. So these are just the farm animals with no name. And then the third part would be just the name with no picture. Now you see figurines here. Again, this is just something as an add-on to make it a little bit more fun uh, and hands-on. I will show you how we use these in period two and period three later on in the video. This is a goat, a cow, a pig. This is a sheep. This is a chick, horse, rooster, chicken, goose, pig, chick, goat, cow, sheep, rabbit. This is rabbit, yeah. Okay. Period two is known as the can you show me period. I have used the loose cards for period two and the cards that only have the picture. I used Noah in this video. So Noah, can you show me where the rooster is? And he'll point to the rooster. Can you show me where the rabbit is? And he'll point to the rabbit. Something that I like to use that they really enjoy is a pointer. So this is just a little pointer from the Dollar Tree. So Noah will hold the pointer and I will ask, Noah, can you show me the goat? And he'll point to the goat. Noah, can you show me the goose? And he'll point to the goose. Something else that you can also add for period two are the figurines. So, Noah, can you show me where the cow is? Can you show me where the horse is? Can you show me where the goat is? Now, if you have a child that reads, you can also hand them the uh, labels, so just the names. Now, I don't have a reader, my children are still young, so I read it out for them. Horse, can you show me where the horse is? Goose, can you show me where the goose is? Bella likes to reference back to the binder book that we use in period one. And let's say a rabbit is up next. And she likes to search through her binder book until she finds the word that looks similar to this word. And then she knows, well, this is a rabbit. Can you show me where the goat is? Good. All right. And where is the rooster? Good. And where is the cow? Where's the rabbit? This says rabbit. Can you put it with the rabbit? Rabbit. Where's the rabbit? Good job, buddy. This says sheep. Can you put it with the sheep? 
good job. This says horse. Can you put it with the horse? This says chicken. Can you put it with the chicken? Where's the chicken? Good. This says goat. This says Period three is known as the what's this period. So this is when you're asking your child what is this uh, now if you notice I did uh, mix up the order of the cards from uh, period two into period three uh, because you don't want your child to be able to answer uh, the what's this by muscle memory so because they've just memorized the order or the sequence of the cards uh, so make sure you are mixing up your cards so Noah what's this and Noah will answer this is a pig Noah what's this and Noah will answer this is a sheep Noah what's this he will answer this is a rabbit now this is another uh, good period to go ahead and use your characters if you didn't use them in period two so I will say Noah what's this and he will answer this is a horse Noah what's this this is a goat and what's this? This is a cow. What's this? This is a rooster. Now let's say you are going through your cards and you'll see in the video that Noah had a hard time with remembering goose. So I just note that, right? A mental note. Uh, and I continue to go through the cards and I go back to goose. And if he gets to run again, I go back to goose and I go back to it about three separate times. Um, before I do resort to back to period two, or maybe you might even have to resort back to period one and that this is and introducing the farm animal names again and then going back period two and period three. So in period three, if you do have a reader, you would also be able to use your label part of the cards. So you would say, what's this? Or what does this say? Your child will answer rabbit. What's this? Your reader will answer, goose. What's this? Horse. Now something that I do want to point out of doing the uh, figurine to card match is that you want to make sure that the figurines that you're using and the images that you're using on your cards are uh, similar in color, um, in stance, so for example, uh, this is a brown horse with white hair around its hooves, the same as my image. This cow is a black and white cow, just as in the image. So I don't want to use, let's say for example, a brown and white cow if my image is a black and white cow. Um, now you can match the figurine to the image or depending whatever set of figurines you have purchased or come across you just match the image to that a very popular brand that is commonly used with three-part montessori cards is called safari ltd and the sets are called tubes uh, and they are popular because they have a wide variety uh, of different uh, sets so they have from ocean animals to farm animals to woodland animals they have um, human body organs they have trees birds reptiles i mean they even have national monuments so it's an awesome array of a collection that safari ltd offers you can find them on amazon for about 12 to 13 dollars and where i get mine is at ac more because i stack my coupons uh, and when they're 12 13 dollars i can get a set for about five dollars so again um, i'll list it here on the screen or maybe i'll link it down below safari ltd tubes now sometimes you don't even have to go with tubes uh, for example this set is a tubes knockoff that i found at walmart for three dollars so an even better deal for a minute 
Noah, what's this? Horse. Horse. And what's this? Rooster. Rooster. And what's this? Pig. Pig. And what's this? Sheep. Good. And what's this? Goose. Goose. Good. Goose. And what's this? A cow. Cow. And what's this? Um, Goat. Goat. Alright, and what's this? I'm a rabbit. And what's this? Um, goat. 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 Alright, and what's this? Goose. 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 Good. And what's this? Um, goat. goat. Now again, to sum up a three period lesson, uh, first period is this is. Second period Second period is the can you show me and third period is what's this I also wanted to clear up that you do not have to use three-part cards in a three-period lesson They are two separate methods that I simply just like to combine I also want to clear that I am not a Montessori expert and we are not full-pledged Montessori home uh, But there are Montessori methods and practices that I do strongly believe in like this one And so I have adopted them into our home uh, This method has proven to be so efficient with my children that um, Just a few weeks into trying this practice or this method. I quickly knew that I wanted to share it with you guys if you are inspired to now use this method, uh, let me know and let me know how you like it. Again, thanks for watching.